Um, it's my dad and myself, and we farm 2,500 acres. We're doing corn, soybeans, sugar beets, and wheat. And we do another 500 acres of uh, custom work for other farms. We started looking at different ways to improve our soil structure, and that is one thing we've incorporated on our farm now is a lot of these cover crops. And the reason we look at different cover crops is some, everything provides a little different benefit. For instance, like we were messing around playing with some uh, red clover, and red clover is an excellent source if you want nitrogen for a corn crop. The problem is establishment and the cost to establish red clover is very difficult but it makes an excellent nitrogen source, free nitrogen for your crop the next year. Well, we're not really experimenting anymore with the oilseed radish, we just use it. it. We've been doing that since 1999. We've been using oilseed radish on all our wheat acres. Uh, the rye is something we've been using for about five years now, and that gets planted on every sugar beet acre. And next year we want to take it a step farther, we're going to use rye on all our soybean acres as well. When the soybeans come off, we're going to put rye, unless it's planted to white wheat. And then we're also looking at incorporating peas, or an Austrian winter pea mix, in with the oilseed radish, and that's to, so the radish will have a benefit of the nitrogen, so we don't have to apply any bought nitrogen that way. And then we've also been looking at oats, which is an excellent source too. The only problem is the oats is a very short timing of a window as to when you can plant it to get enough longevity to make it last throughout the winter months. And then we were looking at in this field, experiment we're doing with MSU there. We're also looking at uh, Sudan grass, um, oats of course, rye. Every species is giving a different benefit to the soil. I guess it just depends on what the prescription you want for that particular field. What is the problem? Do you have nematodes? Don't you have nematodes? Are you looking at it from a nitrogen standpoint for the crop you're going to grow next year? Or are you looking at just trying to break up the hard pan? You know, do you have a soil structure problem? So that's why we're looking at maybe you may want to use multiple species within one cover crop mix on a field. We've been doing cover crops since 1999 and every year we just seems like we're adding something different, increasing more here for cover crops, trying what we can to increase our soil structure, add organic matter, and it seems like it's working. I mean, our, like I said, last year in a drought year we averaged on a thousand acres of beans in the mid-60s. So I said things aren't too bad. Thank you.